Welcome to Cape Chronicle, I'm Alex Gasser. County Clerk Kara Clark Summers joins us to share how voters can get involved in this year's elections and how Cape County is keeping your ballots secure. Kara, welcome. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about how um, folks can get involved. Well, we have three big elections coming up this year. We have the April 2nd, 2nd municipal election, which houses some of your school district elections for school board candidates. Um, the cities are having elections for ward candidates and then also any special uh, taxing questions and things like that will be on the April municipal elections. Those unfortunately are the lowest turnout elections, but um, they're making some of the biggest decisions for our community. So we hope that people will get out and exercise the right to vote on April 2nd. And then we have our August 6th primary election coming up where we narrow down those candidates for the general election in November, um, which will also house the presidential election. So we have some big elections coming up this year. Oh, wow. <laughs> Preparations have already begun. So. so how does someone make sure that they're registered to vote? They can go online um, at capecountyvotes.com. We have all of our elections. Um, we encourage people to go there for the trusted information, especially for our county, but also the Secretary of State's website for anyone in Missouri. But um, they can go online and, and check their registration, or they can also call our office. It's real simple. We'll be happy to help them. Awesome. Yes. Is there a deadline that they have to have that done by yes, in so order? In Missouri, four weeks prior to the election, people have to be registered to vote in that county. So um, like for the April 2nd election, it's March 6th. So there's a deadline. So I know we have some school students that would like to register. They can register when they're 17 and a half and they just can't vote until they're 18. So we encourage the schools to get those people registered, the students registered, so they can vote uh, in those elections that they are eligible to vote in. I remember that was a big thing for me yeah. when I when I turned right. eight and I was First -time voter. ready to sign up for that. Yes. Um, and so uh, how about absentee voting? How does that work or how does someone do that if they're maybe not going to be here during that time? Yeah, so if somebody has an excuse, that begins six weeks prior to the election and they can either come into our office, one of our office locations, we have a satellite office in Cape Girardeau, a lot of people don't know that, but oh, okay. um, yeah, so they can absentee vote there, they can register to vote there, um, they can get their voter card if they need one. Um, so all of that can be done either in our main office in Jackson or our satellite office in Cape Girardeau. Um, but that begins six weeks prior to each election. And then two weeks prior to each election is the no excuse absentee. So anybody can come into our office and cast an absentee ballot two weeks prior to the election. If they are not are busy or working or not going to be available, they're ready to vote, they can come into one of our office locations and vote just like they would at the polling place. They can put their ballot through the machine, uh, check in just like they do, and um, they voted so oh wow it's, it's very convenient now with Missouri's laws so that's awesome yeah um, so I know you guys need a lot of help yes. um, <laughs> for yeah. your multiple voting locations yes. so how does someone get involved in that yeah. respect so if somebody wants to be a poll worker, which we encourage, I mean, I know it's a long day, but it's very rewarding. Uh, they can contact our office and we can send them an application or they can go online to capecountyvotes.com and there are guidelines and then there's uh, forms that they can fill out to uh, participate in the elections. And we want people to be involved. So whether that's at the polling location on election day, checking in voters, we have training before each election, which would tell them the laws and go over that training so that they're prepared to work election day. And then um, they, uh, there's also behind the scenes things that they could participate in too because we have audits after each election and we have judges from different parties, both parties, the Democrat Party and the Republican Party work together to make sure we go through and audit those elections to make sure that everything was done correctly on election day and before those elections are certified, they're all audited. We do um, a random drawing of 5% of our um, election precincts and those are uh, hand counted to match up to the printed tape. So we actually uh, unseal the ballots that were cast and actually go through and count every race on there to make sure it matched up and we have an audit trail uh, before those elections are secured. So. We have a lot of good auditing uh, processes, but people can even be involved in that process and see how that works. And we encourage people wow. to do that, and that way they can go and talk about it and say, 
I've participated in this and, and these are the provisions that we have. Because a lot of people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. They just might hear something from another state or something and it might not even be accurate. So if they have a question, we encourage them to call and find out. And yeah, definitely get yes. involved in the process. Yes, <laughs> yes. get involved, yes. Um, so are there other things um, that, that you guys do to make sure that everything is secure? And, and if people have these, I'm sure you get lots of questions yes. about how to secure yes. everything. We have chain of custodies and seals on everything. So even at the polling place, when they come bring the returns back to our office, nothing is submitted electronically. So they actually, two judges of the opposite party have to drive together to the counting center with everything that has been sealed up by the team that worked that day at the polling place. And then we make sure those seals have not been tampered with and those are recorded. So we have chain of custody seals on everything throughout election day and then for the returns to the polling, uh, to the counting center. Um, so all of that is uh, recorded and processed and uh, according to law. So. Every state's laws with elections are different, um, except for a few federal laws with like military and overseas voters and things like that. But um, I feel like Missouri has really good laws in place for election security and chain of custody and, and those types of things. So, um, Do you want to give us those dates again, just because I feel like they're yes, so important yes. to share. And I want to make sure that people do come out and, and vote because I, I do feel like that's so important. It and like really you said, is. they are some of those dates are, are really low attendance and, and they're so important um, yes. for our communities. So we have our April 2nd general municipal election, which will house school districts, city elections, any fire districts holding elections, those types of things. And then our August 6th primary election, uh, which narrows those candidates for the parties down to the general election. And then the November 5th general election, which will hold the presidential uh, election this year. So. We hope everybody gets out and votes. And just remember, four weeks prior to the election, four Wednesdays prior, you have to be registered to vote uh, to participate in Missouri's elections. So, Awesome. Um, any other information you want to share um, with the community? Well, I encourage people to contact our office or contact me if they have a question, and I'll show them the law and what we do and get involved because there's a lot of speculation and things uh, surrounding elections in other states. and you know, just questions. And I encourage people to either go to the website, capecountyvotes.com or contact our office and find out more about it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, and and I so myself much. encourage everyone to go out and vote. And 